Hello everybody, I have a complete new headset. This one was a, actually quite a bit more expensive. Um, but if you guys know, uh, if you guys remember what I said in the end of my last Let's Play, you should know this Let's Play I'm doing right now. That or you just check the title, one of the two. It's a GameCube game. You think it's a big hint? It's getting closer. I gotta switch my GameCube controller. This is my old Nintendo Wii. I had to pull that out. That was uh, interesting. It's by Nintendo. An intelligent systems. I think you know it by now. At this point, I would hope so. Especially now. Jeez. Oh, <sighs> I'll be honest. If you don't know it by now, yeah, then you have not played this game. Who's that person? All shall be revealed in due time. And she has wings. White wings. She must have had some Red Bull. And that guy, uh... It is completely improbable of a weapon. It is way... It's taller than you! And you're using it like a sword. It makes no sense. Oh my gosh! So, if you couldn't tell by this point, this is Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance. And the hero that everyone probably knows from the Fire Emblem series in Prawl, Ike. Welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Now for this, um, just really quickly, this is going to be a second playthrough. Uh, there are some extra things you get after your first playthrough and all that. I'll be going over that over the course of the game. There's a lot to explain about the Fire Emblem series if you don't know much about it, if anything. It really helps. Uh, ignore all those up there. Uh, this is going to be the file. Um, for this, I'm only going to play on normal difficulty just to keep it like that. Uh, I'll keep it random just because I like it. It works better. And we have the opening cutscene! Not many in this game, actually. They're fighting with sticks. And you nearly got poked in the face. Well, Ike, you had enough? Yeah, huh. Ike! Oh, missed. Okay, let's further so get the headset down. Oh no! Just got knocked out cold with a stick. Who is she? That's a uh, an interesting hair you have there. Okay. What a uh, gigantic change in scenery. Missed that song. Ah, you're up. About time. Uh, huh. That's not creepy. So here we are, the prologue. Mercenaries. Now, I'm not going to be reading all the text because that would take forever. Uh, uh, I think. 
I'm going to be speeding up the text here. Oh, not now. You mean blunt? Oh, no bots. I can still handle it. Because I'm Ike. I can handle all everything. <sighs> well, why not? See? Exactly. Ike has the right idea. That persistence. Uh, sure, that works too. Uh, hey, Boyd. I think. <sighs> yeah, sure. Let's see here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yes. Let's see, you get a sword. You get a stick to the back and see how you feel. Missed. Just stop. Yeah. Yay, time to hit him with sticks. Oh, this is gonna be great. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll do that. that that's great. Alright, Boyd. Prepare to get beat up by a stick. This is gonna be fun. And you get a wooden axe. Ah, Boyd. Alright. Alright. Yes, yes, you, you get tutorials, but, um... For the most part, I'll be doing that. Okay, first of all, if you click off of it, if you are on an empty square, you can go to here. Um, here you can see all your characters, their stats, and everything like that. Um, for the guy, it's basically the tutorial. So, here we go, the options. I'm gonna keep that, uh, for the sake of the let's play, I'm putting game speed on fast and message speed on fast. I'm gonna turn off the grid pretty much to nothing because it feels like it just goes out a little bit. Uh, for the train, I'm gonna keep that on. I'll keep things simple. I've got a lot to explain. Let's say that if I'm going to be playing it's like that I am. Uh, sure, I'll turn that on just uh, to show you kind of like what some of the things are. So, this is a strategy game if you've never played Fire Emblem. So, uh, since we have our first character of the game, might as well explain Ike a little bit. Ike here is your main character. Like every main game you pretty much ever play, you typically get the main character early on. Or immediately one of the two. Ike here is really, really good. Though his stats may not look at it look like it right now. That his weapon that right now isn't really much to eh, go at. Uh, strength is obviously how much you deal damage. Magic is magical damage. Skill is your accuracy. Resistance is resistance against magic. Defense is obviously against melee attacks or bows. Luck, uh, it affects uh, quite a few things. It helps out with your avoid, like speed does. Speed is also really important in this game. I typically prefer characters with higher speed over characters that are slower. Mainly because they can attack twice if they are. Mainly in the end, if their stat, if their speed stat is higher by four points over the opponent. Now, there's two problems with Ike. One is early on, he tends to get hit way more often than he should. And second of all, that strength stat. Oddly enough, even though if you played Brawl, sometimes it may not be that strong. I've had an Ike at level 20. I've had an Ike maxed out and had only about, oh, 12 strength at level at the maximum level, which is 20 in this game. 
before promotion. Uh, that's uh, more details here. So, let's... M obviously, you can go around the map wherever you want in the blue squares. The orange squares is the furthest you can attack. So, why don't we actually go up to an adjacent square, because that's all you can attack with melee weapons. Um, bows, you can only attack... Bows, obviously, you can attack at a range, and so on and so forth. I'll get into more of that later. So, let's attack. Okay, so... Your HP is obviously your the amount of health. Don't let that hit zero because there is major consequences for that if you have never played Fire Emblem game. Once again, just explaining everything. Your might there, your MT or might, is how much damage you will deal to your opponent. Your hit is obviously your accuracy and your CRIT is actual crit. It is possible to crit in this game and you deal a whopping three times damage of what you would normally do. It's a little insane. So let's attack! Since we don't have much of a choice. Wow. No one has any hope for Boy. He's one level higher than me. Ow. That did hurt. <sighs> then attack me! Oh my gosh! Someone's calling me? Oh, well, look at that. I'm gonna hurt you now. Time to get beat up by a stick! Whack. You got beat by a stick. How do you feel? Bet you don't feel good now. Nah, I'm completely kidding. Boy, it isn't that bad. You got beat by a rookie. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you guys want me to read the dialogue and... Well, what I try to do is different voices. I can try. Um, I'll try. I'm not gonna promise much. I will say it right now. I'm not promising much. I will try my hardest, but I'm gonna have trouble with the female voices due to my low tone of voice. I'm just gonna say it right now, and that's it. And now we have Ike's father ready to attack. Oh my. Yes, that is uh, great advice there. Remember the Vulinary Mist just gave you? Let's see, you're gonna need it. So, you can use items even after you move. So, if I so in the most obvious tactic is to move right up to Grail. That's his actual name. Uh, those are not very high stats if you think about it. Now, Vulnerys yield 10 HP no matter what, whatever they're used. Now see the uh, limit there? Everything in this game has durability, minus like a couple things. Keep that in mind. It's going to be very important. Now Grail will actually attack you on like boy. Uh, okay. Ow. Stick hurts. Stop beating me with that. Stop hurting me. I didn't want to make that sound awkward. Hmm. Something feels off. Uh -oh. No. I don't see a problem with it. Keep going! Roar! Ow! Still painful. Very, very painful. This. Ow. Dang it. And down he goes. Wait, I just won! Holy cow! And look at all that experience. Whenever you destroy a boss, whenever you take down a boss character, you get a lot of experience. Now, in every Fire Emblem game, your setups are random. I repeat, they are completely random. Well, there's some like, ways to have it better. Uh, obviously some characters are better at growing in some stats over others. These are called growth rates. It's a percentage of ace tech going up. But I'll be more into detail later whenever I actually have an entire episode to explain all of this. Yeah, I mean, he took down Boyd, who's already in the group, actually. Yeah, you did just get beat there, Boyd. 
A complete random chance now. Yep. Yeah, catch up in, with everyone in no time is right. Alright. So, that's it for the very prologue of this game. I hope you are at least interested in this. Um, this is going to... My goal is to have everyone at complete max level. Well, the characters I'm using at least at full max. Maximum for what I want. So in the next episode, we'll be doing chapter 1.